So welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril. I want to look today into the question of what do cameras actually measure. So cameras are devices that we all use that take pictures of the environment. So typically the result is a beautiful scene that you picture for example with your smartphone or any other camera and you store that 2D view of that 3D world and use it for any purpose. In photogrammetry, robotics, computer vision, um, we are typically interested in performing measurements about the environment and then use these measurements, for example, for some modeling tasks. So the question is, what do cameras actually measure? So cameras, in sum, measure light intensities. And they measure the amount of light that reaches the camera from different directions. And the core of this sensor is a so-called light-sensitive chip, which sits inside your camera. So if you would dismount your camera, at some point in time you would actually find a small chip and this is the light intensitive chip. And what this chip does, it basically measures the amount of light that it reaches within a certain time interval. And this chip is actually broken down into a large number of small regions. And these small regions correspond to your pixels. And those pixels are actually light intensity measurement sensors on their own. So the chip doesn't provide a single measurement, it provides actually a large number of measurements for different positions of that chip. And it measures light by counting photons, so the smallest elements of light. And so your, your chip basically is a photon counter and every pixel itself is also a photon counter. So if we take an image, we basically count the number of photons that reach the individual pixels. And if we now put this chip inside a camera, a pinhole model, or in reality we attach a lens to that camera, then this lens basically bundles the light that comes from different directions and redirects them on that chip, on the individual pixels. So every pixel corresponds to one direction in space and counts the number of photons that come from that direction and reach my chip. And this is how a camera generates the image. So it measures light intensities. In a lot of disciplines, we are interested in performing also geometric measurements about the environment using cameras. And here we exploit this idea that um, we actually have a light signal that comes from a certain point in the environment. So you have a light source, uh, the light shines on an object, the object reflects the light, and some of that light is reflected into your camera to a specific location on your chip. And this triggers the corresponding pixel to have, for example, a higher intensity. So what we are interested in is which points in the environment are actually mapped onto which pixel location and so on, which position on that chip. And this is some information that we use in order to perform geometric measurements. So the key question is if you only look into your cameras, how do we actually get those points, so those distinct things in the environment? And we get those points using so-called feature extractors, such as SIFT, SURF, or B, or others. So what those feature descriptors do is they basically analyze your image and look for, let's say, locally distinct um, distributions of light intensities. So it basically looks for areas which look distinct and say, okay, this is a distinct point, this is something special. And these are typical points which sit on objects, maybe occur on corners or on strong um, contrast gradients. And those points will be identified through your feature descriptor and then we assume that this point from the 3D world has been mapped onto our 2D image plane and we want to reconstruct this point in the environment. And we do that by basically reducing the image to a set of these distinct points and then only reason in those distinct points. So we are only interested in trying to estimate where a point from the 3D world is mapped onto the 2D image plane and we are only considering those point locations which generate those locally distinct points. And this gives us a set of points, maybe 1000 points per image, maybe 2000 points per image, so much smaller number than the number of pixels in our camera image and then we are trying to reconstruct the location of those points in the environment by combining multiple images of the same object taken from different locations. Again, in sum, cameras are devices which measure light intensities that reach that camera from different locations and we can either use the image itself for, for example, image interpretation task or for photography if you just want to picture that scene or we can reduce this image to distinct points and then perform 
three reconstruction if we are interested in estimating, for example, three models of the world. So I hope that was useful and gave you an idea how cameras internally work, at least at the basic level, so that you can understand what they actually measure. Thank you for your attention.